Hello, welcome to this very course on VDD Cucumber framework. Uh, many of you, those who are following my uh, video tutorial series Selenium with Java, requested me, send me emails to create a video tutorial series on VDD Cucumber. Uh, actually, VDD Cucumber framework can be uh, can be uh, completed within three steps. Just in first step, we have to create a feature file. Then we have to create a step definition file, and finally, in the third step, we have to create J unit test runner to run the or execute the tests all right but it will uh, create some complexity in understanding the whole process that's why I myself created seven steps and I will go step by step from step one to step seven and make the whole uh, BDD Cucumber framework very, very easy, simple, fun, engaging, and interesting. All right, uh, it's me on utest.com and I have been working on utest uh, platform since uh, last three years and among 500,000 500,000 software test engineers around the world I'm following this much uh, software test engineers and this many software test engineers are following me and among 500,000 191 software test engineers both manual and automation my u points ranking is uh, 122 okay and my u points ra uh, number is uh, 2575 that's not a big uh, not a big uh, deal um anyway uh, I will give you the referral link those who are interested to work as a software tester or QA engineer or software test engineer from whom from anywhere in the world you can just click on the link below this video and join with 500,000 people and work together okay work together from anywhere in the world what a beauty what a beauty you can work from anywhere in the world and this utas platform it's a great platform for learning you can learn anything you want uh, related to software uh, test software testing software test automation, mobile testing, security testing, whatever you want, okay? So, without further ado, I want to go straight to the video tutorial series. As I told you before, I will take you step by step from step one to seven and make it clear those who already spent thousand dollars in learning BDD Cucumber and couldn't learn it, definitely I can reassure you will learn BDD Cucumber today after you go through seven steps. I will make it so simple, so easy, so fun, engaging and interesting too. Let's uh, first go to the theory and try to understand what actually 
is bitty cucumber okay I have um, made you um, mm -hmm, made you a bitty cucumber actually a PowerPoint presentation so that uh, you can understand the basic theoretical part of <coughs> excuse me a BDD cucumber okay um, many people say it's very difficult it's very tough and so even those who learn selenium Java programming and learn different um, frameworks and already working in the projects they don't go for BDD cucumber because they find it difficult it's actually not I again telling you it's not a rocket science even people are people are learning rocket science too welcome to BDD cucumber framework uh, what is BDD cucumber BDD cucumber is a software tool it's a just a tool okay used by computer programmers for testing other or any kind of software or web application or web-based application or software okay uh, and BDD Cucumber runs automated user acceptance testing written in a behavior driven development style or approach okay uh, it tests the behavior of the software how does it behave actually and central to the cucumber BDD approach is its plain language processor called Gherkin and Gherkin is English like language and one who can read English he can also read Gherkin because it is actually 100% English language I don't know why uh, the programmers name it Gherkin okay uh, why BDD Cucumber is used? Why it is so necessary? Okay, BDD Cucumber is used for unit testing and user acceptance testing, UAT testing, but not limited to it. Remember, but not limited to it. Uh, in the software development industry and software testing industry, uh, BDD Cucumber is mainly used for user acceptance testing but if you want you can even uh, do all different uh, level of testing like if you want to do unit testing you can do it if you want to do uh, 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 integration testing system testing retesting regression testing and user acceptance testing that's fine but especially design and create it for user acceptance testing that is why in uh, more than 90 percent software development industry uh, they are using BDD of cucumber and in the uh, IT job market especially in the development and testing industry BDD Cucumber specialists, okay, BDD Cucumber engineers, BDD Cucumber QA engineers are most sought IT people and they are well paid. Those who know Selenium with Java or Python and know BDD Cucumber absolutely they are making more than 100,000 dollar every year even if you can learn it you can find projects uh, at upwork freelancer.com uh, fiverr.com and definitely you can find some projects sometimes uh, some companies are uh, asking for BDD cucumber specialists uh, in 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 utest.com too okay 
um, BDD Cucumber can develop and execute any test, including uh, DDT as well, data development test as, as well. Okay. Now, BDD Cucumber starts from creating a folder, feature, feature folder. Uh, okay then inside the feature folder we create feature file now what is feature file a feature file is an entry point to the uh, cucumber tests okay um, it is a file where the software development engineer in test will describe tests okay or test scripts in descriptive language called gherkin okay and Gherkin is simply English-like language, as I mentioned earlier also. And uh, what do you have to do when you when you create a feature file? You have to also uh, give the name of the feature file. Then you have to put extension dot feature. We have to remember it. Uh, I forgot to mention it here. Okay, uh, what is step definition? Then after creating feature file, we have to create a package named step definition and, and uh, step definition, uh, in the step definition, we, when we run the feature file, we get some uh, snippets of codes, code snippets, and we have to map it, we have to link it, we have to bind it together with step definitions and the um, feature file together with the glue code, cucumber glue code. We will come to know what is glue code and how we can bind together with glue code using uh, cucumber. Okay. Now, when software development engineer in test or software testers, software test engineers, QA engineers, uh, run the feature file cucumber would execute the step definition methods met linked with the steps okay uh, so now you are being familiar with the theory and after the theoretical part when we will go for uh, practical step by step it will be very clear to you now what is glue code I, I was talking little about glue code a uh, few seconds before uh, glue code glue code contains the location of feature files and the package containing the corresponding step files step definition files and it glues the feature files with the step definitions file and glues both with the cucumber runtime that I mentioned earlier so it also specifies the format in which the test result will be rendered okay now to uh, in in bdd cucumber you will not find uh, in step definition file or in in feature file there is no uh, main method and uh, in 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 uh, in java without main without main Without main method, you cannot run or execute the test script. So, since we don't have main method, what we have to do is we have to create a test runner with JUnit and we have to run the feature file and step definitions from a test runner. Okay? <coughs> Close that door, please. Excuse me. Cucumber Test Runner class is one of the many mechanisms using which software development engineer in tests can run Cucumber feature file. Now the test, the Test Runner class, okay, Test Runner class from JUnit that will. Mm, use in this article, I mean in this um, you know, project, in our tutorial, 
is a J unit runner class, but some people do it with test ng. Uh, we we are going to do it with uh, J unit test runner class. Okay, what are the steps to create BDD Cucumber framework? Actually, we can create it following three steps. Creating feature file number one step. Second step is creating step definitions. Okay. And we have to run the feature file. Then uh, code snippet will be generated automatically. We have to copy the code snippet from the feature file to step definition. Then map them together and bind them with the glue code in uh, Cucumber runtime. Okay. But for better understanding, for better teaching, for better explanation, I create my own seven steps and I will show you the BDD Cucumber from very scratch, step by step, from step one to seven. I will create seven steps video tutorial and each step will contain one video tutorial and explain thoroughly show you a demonstration show you practically how we can uh, develop a bdd cucumber framework from scratch okay if you understand it definitely you can do high level of bdd cucumber framework okay step one generate uh, in step one first create a Maven project open your Eclipse IDE and create a Maven project okay in step two preparing test environment we are not going to uh, go here we are going to deal with step one okay it's very simple how to create a Maven project let's go uh, I go to file this is our um, Eclipse IDE Eclipse IDE for those who are newbie that means just starting today with BDD Cucumber or if you don't know even Selenium I have some basic courses on Selenium just go to my YouTube channel uh, find selenium with java watch the video from one to six then come back and work with me go to file go to new create project go to project not java project because we are going to create a maven project now if you don't find maven project just write here maven and it will be uh, so, I have shown uh, the installation part in my uh, Selenium with Java tutorial series in uh, tutorial 1. Please check if you don't have uh, Java in your machine or if you don't have Selenium on your machine, just download them, follow the instruction and work step by step and you will be here. Okay. So click on Maven project, then click on next, okay, click again on next, okay, hit again next, and BDD Cucumber, I say tutorial, okay, and artifact ID. E D D Cucumber Tutorial in English. Okay, so actually it will be uh, the name of the project. Project name will be here. I have couple of projects here. Right? Then hit on finish, and you see. 
automatically a package has been created we are not going to use it i will delete it and i will create my own package when i start working with it now you see bdd cucumber tutorial english in english is right here okay so um i just make it i expand it and we can see the project folder structure is here pdd cucumber tutorial in english uh, this is uh, src main java usually the developers work here and i just want to delete the automatic mm, created package and I want to create my own package okay and Java runtime system library here is uh, some jar files automatically come in the project and Mabin dependencies here is just J unit uh, 3.8.1 jar okay and when we will um, copy and paste the necessary dependencies maybe dependencies into our uh, pom.xml file all the jar files of webin dependencies will be here okay we will see it src we don't need it target we don't need it we are not using it but in huge project we might be using it okay so this is our pom.xml file uh, it has been generated automatically when we created the Mabin project. Now, what is Mabin? Mabin is build management tool, project management tool. When we create a Mabin project, it has created all the folder structure we need for creating framework. If we don't use uh, maybe for our project, then we have to create each and every uh, folder, okay, uh, by ourselves. Now, here will be the dependencies. Dependency, this is opening tag, dependencies, closing tag, okay, and we have to put all the dependencies here, okay. Necessary dependencies. Now, what are the necessary dependencies uh, i list them and i put in the note okay if i go to dependencies uh, right in the step two we will bring all the dependencies okay the step one just creating Maven project we have created Maven project and we are ready and set to go for creating a framework on BDD Cucumber from scratch okay you can just uh, stop the video and just write all this uh, theory if you uh, feel you need them okay just stop the video and take a note and it will help you to understand the theory also if you know the theory it will be um, very very easy to do the practical part also okay in step two uh, we will copy we will download all these uh, necessary dependencies from MVN repository and uh, bring it to our project and put them into pom.xml file okay and these are the dependencies we will need it we will need it okay so all right then in step three we will be working with feature files okay again i don't want to spend here my time anymore because
past uh, about it and working with tab definitions okay and finally we will create test runner test runner is looked like this okay and we will execute our test and in step 7 finally we will generate uh, readable reports HTML report JSON file report and generate XML report also okay in the example of feature file feature is looked like this all right now if I if I uh, go to our uh, PowerPoint presentation I can show you the steps we already discussed and PDD cucumber pom.xml file is looked like this okay I just took the screenshot from one of my projects BDD cucumber XML file and dependencies that I used in the project okay you can take notes if it is necessary and necessary dependencies these are the dependencies we are going to use and we will need it without them we cannot create or develop our pgd framework okay. now these are the necessary dependencies Okay, then working with feature file, create feature folder, okay, then create a feature file with dot feature extension, write the feature of the application to be tested, write the scenario in Gherkin syntax given when and then given always um, in given we write the precondition and when we write the actions and then is the uh, actual result um, feature file in screenshot feature files are look like this okay example then working with step definitions we have to create package step definitions and inside the package we have to write step definition class and map bind the scenario with step definitions class with glue code then develop program write the test scripts step definition in screenshots step definitions and creating JUnit test runner okay let's see how does it look like execute the test generating report we have to write format and inside the curly braces we have to write pretty comma if you want to create HTML report then HTML colon test dash output it is the name of the folder where the uh, report will be sent and if you want JSON um, JSON report in JSON file then JSON underscore output slash then cucumber dot JSON will be the extension and this will the file where report will be sent and if you want JUnit also, JUnit XML report, then JUnit underscore XML underscore output slash cucumber dot XML will be the extension report. And JUnit underscore XML underscore output will be the uh, folder file where the report will be sent. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Now, um, I will be complete in it 
in next uh, seven video tutorial series. Uh, this is a very basic on uh, on the BDD Cucumber framework. If you want to continue learning advanced level of BDD Cucumber framework, then I have written an ebook on software testing process, a little bit about Agile with some uh, top interview questions, most asked top interview questions, about 100, and explain how BDD Cucumber uh, framework can be developed. And uh, also, I will give you 14, 14 uh, video tutorial links from where from 1 to 7 you can learn the uh, basic of the fundamentals of the BDD Cucumber and in video from 8 to 14 where you can learn the high level, advanced level video tutorial on BDD Cucumber and those who are newbie I will also attach 1 to 6 video tutorials on um, Selenium with Java so that you can learn from scratch to advanced level of framework. Uh, it's about uh, more than 100 pages uh, ebook. I, I will deliver it through um, an email. If you uh, send me your email address, I can deliver it. And I will charge uh, just very little amount for it if you are interested to uh, get the ebook with all software testing process theory and uh, with some example uh, I will be happy to help you thank you very much and thank you for watching the video tutorial series and I hope um, you find it easy fun engaging and interesting and I believe you will get a huge value on it. Those who fail to learn BDD Cucumber spending $1,000 and just for um, five to six hours, if you be with me, you can learn it from scratch to advanced level of BDD Cucumber. Thank you once again. See you in the next series. Thank you.